Hey guys, Craig Fortune here at the Toronto Snowmobile Show with my friends from sleddealers.ca. I'm with ski Snowmobiles. I'm a product specialist here at the show. We're looking at the Expedition Extreme 2020 model right now. New model for 2020 in the Gen 4 chassis now. Uh, that means it's in the latest and greatest chassis. It's what we have in all our MXEs, all our summits. Now we're putting it into the wide track. This is the 20 inch wide version. Um, so it's a wide body, a little bit more wind protection than a summit. And then it's uh, in the wide track, 20 inch wide. So we have up front the RAS3 front suspension. We had the telescopic front suspension before. Now we're running the RAS3, very similar geometry to the Summit, the MXZs that are out there. We run a DS3 ski here. The DS3 ski has a, a deep keel ski. It's got a removable tip for different conditions, powder and hard pack, and a really, really aggressive ski to help you know, cornering with this big track as well as getting it up on its side and doing some carbs in the, in the meadows. Um, this machine, if we look real close, we have the heavy duty front bumper stock and we also have the air rad with a fan assist. That's because this is not only a fun machine, but it's made for utility as well. And we'll get into the transmission in a second. So again, slow speeds, pulling some loads. We've got that air rad and fan assist as well as liquid cooling. Um, if we get inside the machine, it's got the 850 e tech 165 horsepower, same engine as your XRS's, your Summit X's, and if we take a look into the clutches, it's the same thing. It's got the P-Drive clutch, so the front P-Drive, and the secondary with the sheave uh, with the fins on it for better cooling. So 165 horse, very similar calibration in this clutch to the Summit 850. We have the flexible hand guards on it. Uh, again, very, very good hand guard for playing in the powder, getting in the trees. You're not worrying about breaking these because they move all over. We have the new four and a half inch gauge cluster on this sled this year. You've got your storage up front, same as all the Gen 4s. We have the low mountain bar, low mountain straps, the grab bar for uh, riding in that powder, getting it up on its side. Really helps you with the leverage on it. I talked about the easy shift transmission. We've got it right here. It's a brand new transmission from ski -Doo. In the past, our transmission has been very hard to uh, service and maintain. We've really addressed those issues as well as noise. This tranny is super quiet. Uh, very, very smooth and it's even shiftable on the fly. Unheard of before on our sleds, shift on the fly transmission. So we've got low, neutral and high. That low range would be for hauling heavy loads, uh, pulling a trailer, um, slow speeds, and that's why we have that fan assist up front, fan assist rad up front. Um, coming into the back section, you can see the running boards very open, uh, very similar to the summit, so that we're getting rid of a lot of the snow. We're not slipping on the running boards. This, you know, this is another thing that really shows this machine is, is made to play as well as work. We've got a real heavy duty foothold on the back, which also helps strengthen the running board. And then you can see the size of the, of the brackets for the suspension on the back. Very heavy duty. And again, that adds up to a 1,250 pound towing capacity. And if you put the heavy duty bumper on it, you get up to 1,500 pounds towing capacity. Um, we've got the Link uh, multi place rack. So basically, you can move your link brackets everywhere. You've got the ability to have the 16 inch wide as well as all the big boxes. Very similar, we'll just take a look at this one right here. This 135 liter box will fit on the back of that extreme. Tons of cargo space, ability to add more link brackets on top, but it's designed to fit onto this link multi-attached plate. Um, again, we talked about the hitch. The hitch would go right here. Uh, we've got a storage box on the back. You've got some storage area here. Easy access to your battery there. Very, very simple to run a battery tender over the summer for your machine. Keep your battery charged up. Uh, jump start your buddy's competitive machine. Whatever you got to do with that. Um, the seat. We actually have a seat that just drops right on here. It's available in the pack catalog. Same seat comes stock on the Expedition LE and SE. So, 
just to give you an idea there. And then if we come to this side, guys, one more real important feature of this machine, it's got the 154 20 inch wide track with the 1.8 inch paddle. Very aggressive, made for deep snow. You see the rail comes to here and then we have a mechanism here. What that does is allow the track to climb up when you're backing up in snow so that it's not locked down. So basically you'll climb up on the snow instead of digging into it. You also have the ability to lock that track up. So now when you're in tight trails, on the trail, it acts more like a shorter track because you're not having this contact patch on the ground. So really, really helps out with the maneuverability of this sled and obviously with the back in, backing up when you have it unlocked. Guys, I guess at the end of the day, we've got a sled here that's good for your ice fisher, your guy that's playing out in the deep snow and the powder. You can get into tight trails. You can pull some really heavy loads, 1,250 pounds, like I said, or 1,500 if you put the heavy duty bumper on it. 850 E-Tech, 165 horse, this thing rocks.